we ask them um, that if they would like to participate, and we welcome the LGBT officers to participate, that they not do so in uniform. The concern we have with that is that this is who we are, and we want people to feel comfortable seeing us in this versus a polo shirt. Sacramento Police Officer Jeff Kuhlman, who's also a member of the LGBT community, says he was surprised to learn about the decision to not allow officers to attend the Pride Parade the way they did in previous years. It's always very, very positive. Most people tend to look forward to this event every year. And I think to, to see that this event's being pulled back from us, it just shows that not everybody is always about uh, inclusion. Sacramento LGBT Community Center's executive director explains that for many participants, the Pride Parade is a one day of the year where they feel safe and welcome. If they don't feel safe and welcome in the presence um, of a, a uniform that represents sort of the institution of police, then, then this is our opportunity to create that space for them. There's trauma related to police officers in our community. Last year I was arrested at a Stephon Clark protest and I was tased and I was beat. Last year, officers were also asked not to be there following the shooting of Stephon Clark. As for this year, organizers say another reason they don't want police in uniform at any Pride celebrations is to honor those who fought back against police brutality in the Stonewall riots 50 years ago. It's something that we cannot uh, digress away from. It's, it's part of our history, absolutely. But part of that history is showing how times have changed. Times have changed where police officers work with LGBT communities, have officers in the LGBT community. While there are police officers that are proud and out in, in the department, in the department, um, I don't know that they're really out in the community. And I think that we've made a lot of progress since Stonewall, but I think we still have a long way to go.